So we'll do this guy here and we'll do a simple blue power weapon and we'll start with again same thing uh, so we're gonna leave a little bit of the black here in the bottom and then move our way to blue here. So I like I like this a lot. Ooh, Dark Tide. That's a that's a ooh that's a nice game. I don't I don't uh, have to check my computer. I don't think my computer can uh, manage it. It's a, it's a shit one. Also, I don't think my computer manages it, and also I don't want to... This is the kind of game that I will not do anything uh, work-related for, you know, a lot of a lot of time with Dark Tide. All right, so on the other side, we'll do the exact same thing right now. So we'll, you know, uh, roughly the same. So lots of black, lots of blue. So lots of blue, lots of black, and then we'll blend this in like so. And when you're spring towards mall, it's usually a good idea to put put a mask. We're not masking anything. We're just gonna be careful instead. Uh, but you know, if you don't want to overspray and stuff, uh, it's a good idea. So this is step one. <laughs> uh, just some white, and uh, you can leave some blue in there, but we're not gonna this time. I kind of cleaned it, and there was not a lot of blue uh, to leave, like to begin with, you know. So let's start this. Well, actually, let's just keep, keep using that one. Oh, that's a ooh, that's a lot of light. Nice, nice, nicely done white. And then what we'll do is we'll just uh, do the exact same thing that we we just did earlier. Uh, which one is this? Is that oh, we want the tutorial guy first? Sorry. So what we'll do is, is now now we have the black here and then the blue on top, and now we're just gonna add white. So we're gonna do the same thing except uh, here it's like two thirds of the blade in blue. But now we're gonna do one third uh, in white, like right. So from the first first uh, third up there, it's gonna kind of blend in, and then the tip is gonna be white. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here, in a minute. So I like this a lot. So it's very you know straightforward. It doesn't take a lot. So you can do this as much as you want or as little as you want, like if you want more black or more white, I like a kind of an even balance, like a, uh, a little bit of, of, of a little bit of each, you know, so that, that's good for me. Right. So usually in power weapons, you've seen me use uh, uh, just a little piece of cardboard here uh, to mask off, but these, the way that these swords here are placed, uh, we can't really use a cardboard because the, there's a, we want, we want the line to be very, very, uh, S centered I guess basically so we we have to do um we have, we have to mask them in the in the real in the real way uh be because uh if if it changes kind of slightly with the with the masking uh the effect is is not going to work so we're just going to basically just put this one guy here like so and then we're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side for this one. And now the only thing that we have to remember is that what we did is we put the white on top. Because now what we wanna do is do the exact opposite of what, what we just did, and we wanna have the top be black and then the, the bottom be white. So that's gonna be our, our thing. So that's why we need this this whole masking situation. But then we don't really, we don't need to move the mask. We, we you know, it's it's there and it's it's good to go. So if you have a lot of them, it's kind of hard. And then if you have like these weird blades, like this, there's there's no easy solution. You have to get kind of a liquid mask if you want to do it, because then doing the curve is kind of ch uh, challenging. So you have to do something something wild, which you know, we can we can do. We're not. It's our boy right there. So. Now, now we're really not doing any. We're just base coating black, and then here, if you don't want to have any glow or anything fancy, you can uh, mask off the entire like pummel or whatever the golden part. Uh, but I don't mind it too much. I just want one coat of like fully black, and then same thing on the other side. I don't. Want... There we go. And all we have to remember is that earlier, 
we did white on on the top part so now we want to do white on the bottom part so that's that's really the only the only thing we have to go to go so we're doing this the same thing we did earlier but reverse right so earlier we did the two-thirds top now we're doing the two-thirds going down something like this i like i like this i think i think we got a good good enough maybe maybe a little bit more just a, sm a smidge higher maybe but again that's you know, your your personal preference So something so no, again nothing crazy bottom part blue top part stays black and then we're good to go demo model whatever so now what we're going to do is we're going to just do the white and the bottom part exactly like we did the first time but it's the bottom so like this and same thing here so one third and then uh it's always a good idea to remove the tape early because you don't want to paint to dry as much as possible before removing the tape. So slowly, slowly, and there we go. So we have a little effect started, and then we can kind of uh, finish this with uh, with a brush. But so far.